Howdy y'all, welcome back to the kitchen. We're going to be making strawberry fig preserves today on apron strings. I have a friend who called me and said that she had me some figs picked. Thank you Gail, I appreciate it. So today I'm going to make strawberry fig preserves and they're easy and they're fast. And when you, when you eat them later, it's just like having strawberries but it's figs. So I'm going to bring y'all over here and let you watch me get everything prepped. And once I get it going, it goes fast. So y'all come on over here to the butcher block and we'll get busy. First thing I've got to do, I've already rinsed them really good. But I've got to uh, get the, the stem tops off of them. So I'm just going to cut them off because I'm going to leave my fix whole. And I'm going to cut those tops off. I need four cups of figs per batch. So I'm going to see how much figs I have and I'll know how many batches I can do. Okay, here we go. We're going to add the jello. Now, first of all, I'm going to put my four cups of figs and my three cups of sugar in my pot. And I've got three cups measured out here. I'm going to put that on the stove and I'm going to stir it and cook it until the sugar dissolves. Then I'm going to add one package of strawberry jello, the three ounce package, and I'm going to bring it to a boil, boil it for seven minutes and draw it up. So we'll be right back when we get to the stove. Okay, I've got my figs and my sugar in the pot and I'm going to turn the burner on low, medium low. And I'm going to cook it and stir it until the sugar's melted. Then I'll add the jello and we'll go from there. There's a few in there that I, I started cutting them in half. There's a few that didn't get cut. So I'm just going to snip them with my kitchen shears as I stir them to the top. Figs are funny. If you wait till they're real ripe, they're mushy and they kind of, they'll sour real fast. So some of these are not really, really as ripe as I would eat them, but they'll do okay to make the preserves with them. I got my hot water bath getting hot right here by me. <clears throat> and I'm getting hot too. It's right by my hand over here. Uh-oh. I've already sterilized my jars and got everything going. I got up early this morning. I was awake at 5.30, so I just went ahead and got up and got my day started. You have feel like you get a lot done when you get up early because you've done a whole day's work and you look at the clock and it's not even lunchtime yet. I like that feeling. Besides that, it's so peaceful in the mornings. A lot of times it's just me and the birds up. Well, it's melting pretty good. I turned my fire up a little bit to medium. I want to be sure the sugar's all melted. And I'm just about going to bring it up to a boil and then I'm going to add my um, jello. Okay, the recipe says that when the sugar is dissolved to add your jello, and bring it up to a boil and boil it exactly seven minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and add my jello. Shouldn't take it too long. Man, that's going to be good on a homemade biscuit or a piece of buttered toast. Or a peanut butter sandwich. If you make jelly or jam and it doesn't gel, use it for syrup on your pancakes or waffles or whatever you would need to use that flavor of syrup for. Got a little bubbling around the edges, so it'll be boiling here in a minute. It's a blessing to have friends that'll share their uh, stuff with you. 
I love to share and give stuff away. I just don't have a fruit tree to share from. I got chickens that lay eggs though and I share them. That brand of brand breed of chickens pretty well lays one egg a day. Um, and that's good. I think they're the Highline, H-Y-L-I-N-E, red is what they are. They got a little bit of white on their, sometimes on their tail feathers and sometimes here and there. But they sure do lay well, so if y'all are thinking about getting you some chickens, if you live in the, in the area near me, up at, out from Lufkin, Bald Hill Poultry, she sells them ready to lay for $15 a hen. And she'll go get 400 at a time. And she sells out. I mean, people want her, those chickens, because they're good layers. And besides that, you're not having to raise biddies. I don't know how we got off on chickens making strawberry jam, but I guess that's a good subject. They've only got about a minute and 16 seconds left. And they're, you can tell it's thickening some, and they're cooking on down so it won't be too long and we'll be jarring it up. Putting it in the hot water bath and then waiting for that pinging music to start. Okay, I'm going to cut the fire out and get them over here on the butcher block and we'll fill the jars. Smells good. Used to, I probably would have done this in half pints, but you know what? Lids are not real easy to find right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it in pints, and because a half pint takes the same lid that a pint takes, and I am trying to save my lids. Okay, let me get my lids and rings on. and get it in the hot water bath. Okay, I'm going to get these into the water bath over here. Okay, I've got them in there. They're covered with water. I'm going to set my timer for, uh, I think it's 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and do them 15 just to be safe. And then we'll get them out and get them cooling. Okay, the timer went off. So we're going to get our jam out. Look at that. That's pretty, isn't it? I'm going to put it over here to... Uh, cool and then when the lids start popping I'll bring you back. Okay I've got four pints cooling and I can't wait to hear that pinging sound. Know that they've sealed and they'll be good for a long time. I want to thank y'all for coming in the kitchen today and watching me make strawberry fig preserves. I appreciate y'all watching and and bunch of you are faithful to watch every video and I want you to know I appreciate it when you comment I think I see them every day that's a blessing or oh goody there's a new person commenting it means a whole lot because you know when I put my time and money into making all of these videos which I'm totally enjoying doing I'd like to see some response to them now if you're new to canning or you've never canned making jelly or jam that is the best way to start out. And if you're going to make jelly inside the Sure Gel box, 
there's perfect directions and it's not hard to do. These fig preserves were extremely easy, so if you know somebody with a fig tree, get you some figs and make you some strawberry jam. Y'all come back here in a couple of days and we'll have something else good for you to do or to try. Um, sure is hot here in Texas, so be sure that you stay hydrated and stay safe. And the good Lord bless y'all, and I'll see you in a day or two.